Hello everybody. Today we're going to install Windows GSM. You're just going to go to your favorite browser, type in windowsgsm.com, go to products, down, uh, Windows GSM desktop, and download it for desktop. Once you get it downloaded for desktop, which only takes a minute, it's pretty small, you're going to copy that download file to the drive you want all your servers installed on. So if you want them installed on a drive other than C, copy the, the icon to the drive and then create a shortcut to your desktop. As you're going to go over to servers, install game server, you're going to select the server out of the list. In this case, I've selected the forest dedicated server. I named the server the forest. Now, if this was Arc Survival Evolved or someplace where I ran multiple servers, I would name the server name after, I would do Arc Survival, the island, Arc Survival, uh, Scorched Earth, etc. You can run more than one server at a time using this program. And with Arc, of course, you can link up the servers and travel from spot to spot. Once you do that, it automatically starts installing. So we're just going to wait here for a minute until this finishes. Okay. Once the game has downloaded, this is exactly what you'll see. It'll pop in the list. It'll have the server name that you listed. It has your IP address port and query port. So a couple of, if this is your first server, you want to make sure your IP address is um, static, not dynamic. On survivalgaming.com, I go through all the steps on how to set up a static IP. Because every time your server restarts, it has a chance to change the IP address and then your ports will no longer work. So the second part you'll have to do is go into your server and change the ports. And on all of the server setup pages, I have a link to portforward.com. You can pick your router out of the list and it shows you how to change ports for that router. But once this is installed, what you'll have to do is set the, the ports that you want to use. Sometimes you can't set the ones you want to use um, because the game won't let you. But in this case, um, the ports I was I was using was 19 and 20. And also, if you run like Arc with two different servers, you'll need different ports for each server. The other thing that you'll want to do, which is one of the things I like about this, okay, on the config, you have your config file path, and there's two more, um, two more items that you want to put in here. And this you can copy and paste, and you have to do these things exactly. If you use capital letters in the wrong place or anything like that, then your server won't work. The other thing, if you want to change things for your server, and this is a little different for every game, if you hit Browse, Server Files, it opens you right up to the server files. Now you may have to locate um, the actual config file from here, but you don't have to go through the whole chain of command this PC, desktop servers, or wherever your servers are at, it opens it right up. Now in this case, we have to go to 
actually it's real easy. It's just called server. We're going to edit that with note plus plus. And here we can change the things we want to change. So you can change vegetarian mode on or off, vegan mode on or off, um, just whatever the server is. That's how you would do it on this one. Some, some games have way more configuration than other games. And then when you want to update your server, you have an update window. You just click update and it'll check. Do you want to update? Yes. This takes a second. If your internet speeds fast, it doesn't take long at all. But it goes through and checks the Steam version. And if it's different, it'll update it. It's already up to date. Now it's going to verify. You also can back up your server at any time. It's got a button to back it up. It's really nice when, when all the features work. You may find uh, you may find a bug with it or two, but it's it's really handy. On my server, my actual game server, I have about eight games that I'm using this with. Now for Ark Survival Evolved, I act and uh, Conan and Dark and Light, I actually recommend using their server manager. This, this actually might be done. So to start the server, simply click start. Usually a window will pop up. There it goes. You can toggle the console so you can see it. And then it'll do its server thing. And that's it. You'll have a server that's up and running. I have detailed instructions for multiple games on survivalgamingclub.com. And once you do a couple of these, you start to get a handle on it. And then it's, it's so much easier than doing. Like DayZ is super easy on this. And, and I found DayZ to be challenging with mods on on doing it the other way but I have I try to go through step by step for any of the pages you can look and see exactly what to do and I've confirmed that those worked at the time that I built them and I say that because take um, V Rising I did their page and they had a major update but I did go back in and update it for their update but if they do an update between this video and I, my opportunity to fix the page, it could be off a little. But that's it. Um, very easy way to set up a server. Now this is on a spare PC. You can use this on your same PC, but you'll have other challenges with connecting to that for some games. I don't know what those challenges are. Um, I don't know how to overcome them. I've never done it. So I use a, an old PC. I stick in the closet. I've ran servers on i7-4700 laptops, and they run just fine. I ran two ARC servers at the same time on that, on an old laptop, and it worked. It ran them both fine. I could go back and forth between worlds. It was, it was no problem. So it doesn't take a lot. Now, if you're running 50 of your closest friends, you're going to need more horsepower, but that's it. The forest, it's up and running. It's, um, it's all done. It's a piece of cake. Very easy. No batch files to mess with. Nothing like that. Really easy. Hey, survivors. This time we're going to do a plug-in for the Windows Game Server Manager. In the plugins, really, we're not going to do every little detail here. The plugins are really very simple also. So if you go to the same place, windowsgameservermanager.com, 
under products, go to plugins. That's the first place to start for a plugin. If it's a fairly new plugin, you may find it on Discord. They have a Windows Game Server Manager on Discord, and there's a there's quite a selection on there. I haven't found all that many plugins on Discord that weren't on Windows Server Manager. But when you find the server you you want, and if you want a complete list on survivalgamingclub.com under Windows Game Server Manager I listed all of the servers that I could find now let's just do dark and light when you click on the link you'll go to code and then you'll go to download zip and these are really fast and once your zip is downloaded you're going to go down here to plugin, import plugin, and you're going to find your zip file. Now, sometimes these are double zipped and it won't work. Let's see if this one's double zipped. Nope, it's not double zipped. It worked. That's it. It's done. So now, now that you have your plugin here, you go back over, I always do that, that hamburger menu. I go back over to server, install game servers. This was going to be dark and light. And we're going to come up here and we're going to find it in the list. Does it do it in alphabetical? Dark and light right there. And then you're going to click install and it's going to go through and install your server. It's just the only thing a plugin does is basically add it to this install game server list. It's a piece of cake. So you'll go through the setup page for that and you'll have yet another server on your on your server. So that's it survivors. Go get you some servers and find some friends and tear it up.